Hello and welcome back to the channel. And we're back on Police Autobahn Simulator 3. Uh, I've been working very hard uh, to unlock some more rankings to this very sexy saxophone. Dispatch, way up. This is Dispatch. What did the car from last week's missing person case look like? We are still looking for a small brown car with scratches on the left-hand side. Then we may have just found him. We'll track it down and keep you posted. I hope it's all going off now. So anyway, I've had to unlock uh, some rankings so I can do some more missions. So I've been on patrol and uh, unlocking, well, doing like police stops and things like that. So without further ado, we'll dive in and see what we can get up to this week. As you see, it's all going off. All right, so we're going to leave this uh, rest area. And uh, hit the road. Uh, my handling of the vehicle hasn't got any really better. I've lowered the sensitivity and all that kind of jazz. Um, but anyway, we'll, we'll crack on with it. So as you can see, I've set a marker. Uh, that's the blue path that we've got to follow. So we're going to jump off here. And follow this blue path. It's to a special mission that I've unlocked. So yeah, the uh, reaction to the first video I put out of this uh, completely took me by surprise. I wasn't really expecting it to do an awful lot, but with over a thousand views, I thought, you know what, we'll do another one. I had an absolute blast recording that. It was so funny with the cows. And I think I'm seeing now that people are coming around to the fact that this isn't game isn't trying to take itself too serious at all. It's a bit tongue-in-cheek. It's a bit of a laugh. Um... Uh, it's making fun out of itself. And it's just a lot of fun. Yes, it doesn't look great. But at the end of the day, it's just fun. And that's what it's all about, right? So let's pull in here. Special mission, Slick Slider. Multiple vehicles are involved in a pileup. Regressively, this accident won't be the last. Do you want to start this mission? Yes, we do. So here we go. Calling Fox Truck 1. There's been an accident on the A106 near the exit. Secure the area and find out how it happened. We're on our way. Any casualties? According to the caller, there's only one minor injury. The ambulance has already been notified. Understood. We'll take care of the rest. That sounds like a minor affair. Right then, so uh, let's put uh, our sirens on. Just so people know we're in an emergency, so they need to get out of the way if needs be. It's only about a kilometre away, which is lucky. As we make our way to this uh, major accident now. Here we go, only 600 metres away. I wonder if it's going to give us a little bit of a cutscene um, to see how this accident actually occurred. Right, okay, so it looks like we've got a smoking vehicle there, so this could be a fire. What happened to the music there? <laughs> right, so let's jump in uh, to the back and let's grab our cones. We're going to have to make the area safe. Let's have a look now, here we go. Right, so with this, I've learned as well, we've got to wait for this circle to turn green like so. So there we go, we'll pop that down. Well, that means it's in the, the exact proper place now. Well, let's see if we can find this one. There we go. And the next one. Where does this one go? There we go. Right. Now oh, the next one. And there. So, yeah, I've been dealing with um, mostly this kind of stuff, really, and a few chases. While we're here as well, we'll uh, stick our high visibility vests on. And let's see what we've got. I think first things first, uh, we'll start taking the some photos. You can do it is press up as well, and it gives us a chance to uh, see anything that we need to take notice. So we've secured the scene. But let's talk to the people involved. It looks like these dudes over here. All right, there's quite a few people here to chat to. All right, so we'll chat with her first. 
You are Miss Schuster, right? Yes. Thank God you're here. Just look at all this mess. We'll take care of it. Can you tell me how the accident happened? It came out of nowhere. I was driving normally in that small red car over there, and then there was a crash. Someone must have hit my car from the right. Did the person who caused the accident possibly cross the carriageway from the slip road over there? Uh, that's possible. After the collision, I also lost control. I still feel quite dizzy. Once the ambulance arrives, we'll have them give you a check over. Thank you for your assistance. Right, so she's saying that someone came from over here, as you can see. There's some skid marks on the ground there, or some kind of staining. It looks like oil, actually. And then that car there has come across and smashed in, so... Let's see what occurs with the rest of the interviews. Good afternoon, Mr. Friedman. Can you tell me what happened here? To be honest, I I'm, I I'm not sure myself. It, it all happened incredibly fast. Please, think carefully. What can you remember? And which one is your car? The the dark blue SUV there. Well, I, I, I somehow lost control. It, it felt as if I was suddenly driving on ice. I, but that couldn't possibly be the case this time of year. Do you have any idea why this happened? Unfortunately, no. Uh, maybe something is wrong with my car. But I've just had it serviced. All right. If anything occurs to you, please let me know. Look, the lorry. Move aside. Oh no, he's oh crikey. He slipped on the oil as well. Well, this is all going wrong now, ain't it? Right, so this oil's causing a problem. What we really could have done with is shutting this road down because of this, so anyone can come down that road now. But the ambulance drivers are here anyway. All right, so let's take photos of the accident. Um, for some reason, we've got to take a photo of this. There we go. So we'll, we'll grab that. So that's that done. We'll probably have to grab photos of some of these here. There we go. Let's take a photo of that. And a photo. Oh, I've just put my camera away. Let's grab a photo of this as well. There we go. Lots of broken glass. Can we get a photo of this red car? Are we too close, too far away? I'm not entirely sure yet. What's that there then? So we might need to stand a bit further back for this one. We've got some piping on the floor here. So we'll grab a photo of that. Um, right, so let's come out of there now. Let's get a picture of this lorry. So uh, get a good angle on this. Here we go. There we go. We had it then. Prickle cola. We've got a picture of that. We'll grab a, a chat with that driver in a second. So this is the guy that originally caused the accident. Well, let's uh, see if we can grab a photo of that. There we go. Out this one. Can we grab a photo of this? Oh, it did slightly turn green then. There we go. We've got that one. Now the red. See, the red car is going to be quite difficult because it's... It's slightly... There we go. We had it. There we go. And we've got that one. So now we need one more photo, which I presume is this black car. So if we go... Over here, I think we might be able to do this. So let's try that. We're struggling to get a photo of this one, aren't we? I'm not seeing it turn green at all. Right, let's try another angle. Let's try from over here, maybe. Zoom out. No. Try that. Is that going to do us? Zoom in. No, this is a bit of a nuisance. Let's try... How you do, fella? Uh, let's try from here. Right, I'm really struggling to get a photo of this... Uh, this black car here at the moment. 
Hello, fella. Smile. Right. We'll come back to that in a minute. Uh, speak with the truck driver. Well, we've just seen what happened. We don't really have to talk to him, do we? Hello, Mr. Newsbound. Are you all right? Yeah. Wow, that was close. Do you mind if I ask you a couple of questions? If I can help, sure. Uh, loss of control. Can you tell me why you lost control? I suddenly couldn't steer properly. As if the ground was slippery. Maybe something had leaked out onto the road. One of the other oh, people involved he's wondering in the incident if something, something slipped out there. onto we the road. Take a closer look at that. Did you see something on the road? I didn't have any time for that. I think but we should go and take a photo of that oil on the floor, I, I think. Sure. I didn't see anything before that. That's a great help. Thank you very much. Right, so I'm going to nip up here, and then what we're going to do... Is he going to let me take a photo of that? Because this is the issue, isn't it? Let's talk to our fella here. This is not a good time, actually. Let's talk about that later. <laughs> Whatever, Trevor. Right, okay. Um, secure accident scene. Talk to the people involved. Let's talk to Bearded McBason here. Phew. This is a real mess, isn't it? Glad I wasn't in the car anymore. But you're feeling okay? A little shocked, but I'm all right. Still in one piece. Okay. Do you perhaps have any more information about how the first accident happened? It looked like somebody skidded in the slip road just ahead of me. But I was traveling pretty fast myself, so I'm not entirely sure. Okay. Thank you for your statement. So we know the oil's the issue. I will, I will, we'll, we'll finish all the parameters here to get this done. Did something happen to you? No, I don't think so. <laughs> What's going on here? Why is everyone crashing into each other? That's what we're trying to establish. That's why we would also like to hear from you how the first accident happened. It all started with that fellow over there. He's to blame for everything. Hang on a minute, exactly love. Pointing do? the finger. Looked like he fell asleep. Then he suddenly started yanking the wheel back and forth as he slid across the road. Then he rammed me. Could you see why he suddenly lost control of the car? I don't know why this idiot can't drive properly. I only know that he has ruined my car. I'll sue him for everything he's got. Just look at my beautiful car. All right, so Karen, calm down. Observe the accident. Sorry, we are here to find out what happened. For everything else, you should contact your insurance company. Right, she's she's done my head in. Check the street uh, contaminants optional. So how do we do that? Yeah, so that's what I want to do. Check the streets for contaminants. So we know what this. Here we go. Here we go. I've had a look around the acceleration lane. Well, did you find anything that explains these accidents? Yes, it's pretty obvious if you look closely. There's a big oil spill on the road. That should solve the mystery of the slippery road. Exactly. The oil must be removed before there is a third accident. I'll take care of it and let the fire brigade know. Right, so the only thing that we're missing now, we've solved the mystery. We're missing one photo. Uh, for us to complete this, and I think it's this car. And I, I've got a photo of that, photo of that, photo of that. It's just this bloody thing. I just can't seem to. Grab a photo of it at all. Let's chat to these boys. Let's see what he says. What a mess. What happened? One accident after another. Mess sums it up quite well. Have you found out how this all happened? One of the drivers says all of a sudden the road was slippery. It's all the result of a large patch of oil on the acceleration lane back there. That's got to be sorted at once. No problem. We'll sort it out. Yes, pal. Right, let's try one more time. Got a photo of this. I'm going to try it from where this fella stood. Zoom out. Not letting me do it, is it? Let's zoom in. No. This is weird. I'm gonna scrap it in a minute, and we'll uh, we'll just knock off. I think we'll go. Right, let's go. I've had enough. Not possible during present mission, so we can't get in the car. Um. 
I don't know what to do then. We, we need this other photo. There we go. We've got it. We've got it. We've got it. We've got it. Thank crikey for that. Right, now we've got to do the accident sketch. So, this is going to be tricky. And then, it's that one in the side. There we go. Then we've got some spill wreckage. It's round about here somewhere. There we go. We've got another spill wreckage, which is on this side somewhere. There we go. And the cardboard box, which is here as well. There we go. So that is everything. We've got another spilled load. Oh, yes. We've got that one, which is at the back. Right, so that is that done. But are we good to go now? Then I guess we're done here, aren't we? <sighs> Looks like it. In the end, it was more work. And a much bigger accident than we initially thought. We? No one said it was a minor job. You just put your own slant on it. Yeah, that's it. Rub salt in the wound. Oh, rub salt in the wound. Stuff. Okay. But you've just done that, sort of, haven't you? Smart ass. I'm not talking <laughs> to you. Get us out of here. Aye, aye, sir. Your wish is my command. Oh, he's ace. Our partner is brilliant. Okie dokie. Right, so let's get in the police car now. We're done here. Let's crack on. Jesus wept. Right, we're in the car. Let's drive off. Let's leave the accident area. Oh dear. Right, so there we've got 2650 XP for that. Slick slider is complete. And we've got an achievement for our troubles. You complete completed slick slider. Jobs are good. Oh dear me. Right, so let's uh, look at the map. Uh, let's fast travel to the police station. All right, so we're going to get out and uh, we're going to go and have a look inside the police station. See if there's anything going on in here. See if there's any new missions on the board. I've got a funny feeling it's going to be that slick slider again. So if we go in here. Um, yeah, there is, I think. What have we got? Yeah, slick slider. And we've done that already. Uh, what have we got on here now? We've got car chases, robberies. That's locked. What else have we got? Street cleanup. That isn't locked. Occasionally vehicles lose their load and lo the road is dirty. Clear the obstacles. Following traffic is no longer endangered. And roadblocks that are locked as well. Right, so let's quickly uh, dive into this and we'll go to progress. Uh, drive to land kilometers with the patrol car, which we can do quite easy. Uh, test one. Uh, emergency calls not available for purchase. So we've got a test. Uh, the emergency phones and we've done slick slider right so let's head out on patrol again and uh, we'll unlock some of these uh, things that we need to do while we're just naturally playing the game and we might get a call as well while we're out and about so we'll uh, give it legs to the police car here we go Right, let's crack on as we head out on patrol. I think what we'll do, we'll take a left. We will. Where's the lights? I can't see them. Put the old indicators on. Fancy a bit of a first person view as well. Two first person. See our good friend there sat next to us. I can't see the lights on the on this side. Are these lights going to change or what? Do you know what? We're police. Let's go. Sack it. Tell you what's a bit nippy. This is, this is a brand new one from what you saw last time. This is the SUV we're in now. This is. Revving its nuts off. Now we're going to head now and see if we can pick up a job while we're out and about on patrol. And obviously pick up the 10 kilometers uh, achievement thing that we need. Just going to go around these guys here. We ain't got all day. Like that. 
Here we go. We're getting a job. Another collision, so we'll accept that. There we go. We've got his lights on, so we'd, uh, we don't need to mess about. But we are going to need uh, to turn round. Because uh, the accident is this way, 1.6 kilometres away. I can't be doing with that first person view. It's... Uh, it's too close into the wheel and you can't change your uh, field of view, unfortunately, either, so... Blue lights are flashing, yes, stop. We're on an emergency call. Get out of the way. But one thing I have noticed, this is running on Unity Engine. And um, I'm going to go back to on the road now. And you'll notice as I'm driving down the autobahn... Now, I do realise as well this is a much smaller map. Understood. Any more info? Currently, we do not have any further information. Understood. But what you'll see as we're driving down the autobahn, how highly detailed it is. Uh, it's just a lot more interesting to drive down. Here we go. What's this here now? We've got an accident. Yeah, it's just a little bit more detailed than the uh, than on the road is. There we go. We've got an accident. The cones are out already. We've got to take photos of the accident and uh, chat to the people. So uh, let's get the old camera out. Grab a photo of that. We grab a photo. It's another black car. We're probably going to have trouble taking photos of it again. Oh, there it just turned green. There we go. Got that one. Let's grab this one as well. There we go. We've got that. So there's one more photo that we need to take, which will be this exhaust box on the ground. Oh, no. There we go. We've got it right. Let's go chat to the people. Hello. Can you please describe what happened from your point of view? I, I don't know. All of a sudden, there was this jolt through my car. Um, calm down, son. Calm down. Take a deep breath. Now that you have calmed down a bit, what happened? The other driver was driving... He probably way. couldn't see through those glasses. What exactly did you notice? Yeah, well, the other driver was totally erratic. She accelerated, then slowed down again. And she swerved about a bit, too. We'll look into it. Did you notice anything? What was he doing, then? In fact, I didn't notice if he had his vest on or not. Now, I can't remember. Uh... You endanger yourself and other road users if you don't wear your safety vest outside your car on the motorway. And what is this yellow thing here if it's not <laughs> a safety had, vest? He had it on. Oh, there it is. Indeed. Please forget what I just said. Can you think of anything else? Um, let's have a look. No, nothing there. Did this strange driving behavior perhaps distract you? Not that I know of. Okay, let's dig deeper. Take your time. Think about it. It was really, like I said... We'll see. Is there anything else you know... He did it again with his really? fate, with his neck. No? Thank you for your statement. I will get back to you if I have any further questions. I think our cop has got a bit of a tick. Right, let's chat to you, my dear. It scared the hell out of me. A huge crash right beside me. Uh, what's observation? Did you notice anything unusual before the accident occurred? Yes. Well, the driver of the car behind had something in her hand. I'm quite sure of that. Or oh, wait. No. Now that I think about it, it was the driver of the vehicle in front. Right. That's how it was. Just think about it. I've asked her there moment. just to Which think of the about two it. Drivers had something in their hand. It was the driver behind. Exactly. She hasn't now got a clue, remember, has she? She had something in her hand. We'll check that. Is there anything else you noticed? Did the drivers involved in the accident have enough distance between them? I don't know. No, she no, hasn't got a high visibility on. Agreed. Did you see anything else? Do you have a safety vest? You must wear it when you leave your car on the motorway. Oh, you're absolutely right. Must have slipped my mind due to all the excitement. Definitely won't happen again. Did you notice anything else? Not really, no. Thank you for your statement. These um, you witnesses at these crashes questions. are completely useless. I mean... Hello. Would you mind telling me what happened? You never really oh, find oh, everything friend. out. No, and now? Now it's fit for the scrap heap. Oh, another Karen, here we go. Um, driving behaviour. The driver claimed that you were swerving and generally driving quite radically. But that's not a crime, is it? Uh, yeah. 
As long as you are putting others under pressure, or even endangering them with this behavior, then it most certainly is. Not to mention... She's more or less confessed there, hasn't she? Because she said it's not a crime. Which certainly not observed at all times. But that doesn't mean I'm to blame for this accident. We'll see. Did you see anything else? There's no further questions. Let's ask for distraction. Is it just possible that you were distracted while driving? Is someone claiming that? If that's not convenient for you, we'd be happy to continue the conversation at the station. Let's just get this over with. All right. Then once again from the beginning, you had something in your hand that distracted you. What was it? Yeah, well, oh, perhaps it was a bottle. She's on the lash. So, what was in the bottle? Alcohol, perhaps? Maybe. Oh dear, breathalyzer test. Since you are acting quite strangely right now, I would ask you to take a breathalyzer test. Let's just get this over with. All right, come on, love. Breathe into that. Keep breathing, keep breathing, keep breathing, keep breathing. Keep breathing. Stop! The driver has drink taken and must accompany us to the station. That looks quite clear. What my colleague is trying to say is... You're definitely not driving anywhere today. My car's just a load of junk now anyway. Yeah, you Hopefully drunkard. Hopefully you learn from this. Driving under the influence of alcohol is dangerous for you and for all other road users. I've got everything I need. Thank you for your statement. Yeah, we'll go on. You You're going downtown, love. All right, so she's getting arrested. Can I arrest her? Can you think of anything else? Nothing else no, as far she's, as I'm concerned. She's too busy wondering about going to prison. That's what she's thinking of. Here's the bottle. Wow, this stuff is pretty strong. If someone has been driving with this in their blood, I'd better take this. Right, so we'll take that. Um, let's just, I think we've got everything else now. Now we just need to do the sketch. Um, so we've got the blue car there, and we've got another car there. And then we've got some wreckage. It's round right about here somewhere, isn't it? Oh, there's, there's one there, yep. Yeah. And then we'll pick this one up as well, which is next to the blue car. There we go. So I think that's the sketch done. So I think we're good to go, brother. I do. Um, are we are we arresting her or what? Are we just buggering off? Where's me mate? Where's me pal? What's he doing? He's just stood over here next to the car. Let's see if we can go. Are you done now? Uh, conclude acquisition of accident data. We can go. And what do you think? A distracted driver witness testimony, drunk driving confession. One of the drivers was driving under the influence of alcohol. Thus, she was not quite as focused on the road as she should have Just been. Just a little bit. Why she was drunk. People never figure this out. Well, let's hope everyone involved here will learn from this mess. So there we go. Another job done. Short time later. Are we? Where's the woman gone? Are we not arresting her? Taking her down the nick? Obviously not. I don't know where she's gone. Anyway, all the traffic's leaving the uh, the accident area now. Look, backed up for miles. Let's indicate, and we'll pull out as well. There we go. So what we'll do? We'll uh, turn our lights off. There we go. We got them off. Fire brigade there, just stopping for some random reason. And we'll go on our way and uh, look for uh, some more emergencies. So, no comedy value this week, unfortunately, on this episode. But still, I'm having fun. I actually prefer this to uh, police simulator. It just, I don't know. Just. I've just enjoyed it a lot more. I find that police simulator look not overcomplicated. It just doesn't really explain itself very well. Uh, and what you're supposed to be doing and where you should be going. And But yeah, I'm, I'm enjoying this. A lot of people don't like it. Because it is a little bit uh, rough around the edges, so to speak. But yeah, I'm enjoying this. It's, it's a lot of fun. We've got some new collectibles there. A rubber duck. Like I said, there's collectibles. There's rubber ducks. Oh, yeah. Another job coming in. This is Fox Truck 14. I have sent you a location on the A53. A van has come off the road there. Take care of it. Got it. On our way. Right, so as you can see now, I'm on the mini map. We've got a 
collectible coming up so it's an emergency uh, phone which is one of the tasks that we need to do to rank up so uh, let's get out I don't know what was going on there another call to Foxtrot 14 we've got to test these Foxtrot 1 to dispatch we're on the emergency phone right outside the stadium Away. Clearly. You might even hear the home crowd cheering at the next game. Later. <laughs> right, okay. The stadium? Where's the stadium? What's he talking about? There's no stadium here. Uh, also, uh, along the routes and along the roads, there are uh, photo opportunities. So you pull over and you whip your camera out and you take a photo of a local landmark as well. So there's lots of things to uh, get up to while you're out on the roads just patrolling as you can see there there's a rubber duck um i think this one is below the bridge because i've actually been on top of here to look for this let's just pull over a bit so our mate can get out let's get out no action blocks the doors are blocked there we go let's try that funny feeling it might be over there you know can't see anything yet. Can't see any rubber ducks. Let's leg it across the road. Is it there? I don't think I can jump or anything like that. I can crouch. I know the rubber duck's not here either. I wonder where it is. Oh well, we'll find that another day. I'll get back in the old car. Off we go. Hot air balloon up there, but this, as I was saying, look how much more detail it is. Obviously, we're surrounded by trees. But there's mountains over there, hot air balloon up there. The road signs are a little bit more detailed. And you got these little roadside areas as well, which are detailed with benches and toilets, which are quite nice. But we've got a job down here. I wonder what this is. Oh, I think this is a photo opportunity, is it? No, that's that over there on the left-hand side. This might be that slippy, slidey job again, I think. Um, yes, it is. Yes, it is. Uh, so we'll avoid this. We'll drive past this. We don't need to do that. We've done that job. We'll just keep driving for a little bit, see if another job comes in for us. Might be a chase, stolen car, or something like that. But for now, we'll just patrol. Make sure the auto barn is a safe place to be. We tank it down here at 180 kilometers an hour. We've just ranked up to rank six as well, which is nice. We've got another collectible down here, which is a, oh, here we go. We'll leave that there. There we go. We'll accept this one. It's a stolen car, everybody. All right, so we'll head down here what we'll do um, we'll bang some sirens on and uh, we'll give chase to this stolen vehicle hot pursuit now as you can see everything moves out of the way for you or moves to the side of the road which is cool uh, we're gonna, we're, we are going to get shootouts as well I think there's shootouts so we uh, we do robberies and things like that uh, which I'm looking forward to getting stuck into. It'll probably be done in a really bad way, but we'll have fun with it, won't we? There we go. Did we get him? I think we've got him, ladies and gentlemen. Ah, oh, yes, we've got him. We stopped him. What's, what's happening here? Flag down the car with the Matrix. All oh, right, so... We'll get the Matrix. Where's the Matrix? Turn that bloody noise off, for Christ's sake. Matrix. Is that it? No. Matrix, stop. There we go. Attention, stop vehicle. I think we've done it. Have we done it? Locked. 
Fast travel. What's going on here? I am arresting you for resisting arrest and endangering other road users. Oh dear. It wasn't like that at all. I thought you were after someone else. No, we got you, love. Right, there goes the handcuffs. Chucked her it back at car. She's going downtown. Don't look too happy with herself, does she? Right, so we'll get this one back down to the station. Only uh, 5.8 kilometres away. So it shouldn't take us too long. Well, it will take us a while, actually. What's this billboard say? Something in German? Yeah. Probably about speeding or something or other. And imagine with the hearts on there. Probably some video game terminology as well. Now, because we've got someone arrested in here, we can't get out of the car and uh, do any of the little collections or anything like that, which is a shame, but they end up driving past all these little things that you can do and collect. You can't do anything about them when you've got someone in the car with you. But uh, you can come back when you've uh, you've not got any jobs on. There we go. We're going to head this way. Here's Mr. Water in his fern bus. Nearly took me out there, Water. Good lord, man. Uh, Viz past all of these. You can put his lights on and obviously uh, people will start to clear the road for you. Uh, but we don't need them on. We're not... Well, we could have them on, I suppose. Uh, I suppose we are in some kind of emergency, aren't we? We've got someone in the back, so... We need to get them back to the police station quick pronto. We see the city coming into, uh, into view now. Not too far away. Just over a kilometre. And drop this prisoner off. And uh, she can await a court date for her stealing or whatever she was running from. Right, so we're heading up here, I think. Yep. This is us. Over there. And we're going to swing a left to the police station. And a right. There we go. This is us. Into the nick she goes. Jobs are good. Another 400 XP. Car chase done, so we'll head into here. We'll look at our progress now. We've walked a kilometre. This is rank six now. Photograph one landmark and carry out one traffic control on the night shift. So to use these, um, oh, a helicopter. Unlocked helicopter needed for some missions. Oh, we'll unlock that then. Definitely unlock that. So that's unlocked. Uh, how much have we got? One thousand six hundred and seventy XP. Performance upgrade for the SUV is what we're driving. We can't afford that. Uh, expenses stability, so we'll have that as well. So we've used up all our XP there. Uh, what I do need to do, though, is work on uh, these soon. Uh, for combat and health, etc. And my character skill tree, which I have done quite a bit of. But yeah, I need to work on them. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed that. Uh, I did ask you, actually, to give me 30 likes, and I would do some more of this, and you did actually give me 30 likes. So if you'd like to see some more uh, Autobahn Police Simulator, leave me 40 likes this time. We'll up the ante. Let's see if you can get 40 likes. I'm sorry it wasn't as uh, full of comedy as last time. It was more full of drama this time, wasn't it? But I hope you enjoyed it. If you have enjoyed it, please hit that like button. If you're new to the channel please consider subscribing and hit that notification bell so you know when I go live and new content drops onto the channel. But once again, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all on the next one. Goodbye.